today's... Oh wait, isn't this my show? I'm sorry, but today's for the ladies only. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Gates here at the Gate Mall. Today we're diving into the serene world of Diva Lounge Spa to see what's behind the scenes. Let's discover that together. First things first, the morning briefing. The teams comes together to discuss the day schedules and any special arrangements for the guests. Continuous improvement is the name of the game. The team dedicates time for training to ensure they provide the best experience for the clients. The room setup is an art in itself. The team carefully arranges everything to create a calming and inviting atmosphere for the guests. And of course, the Diva Lounge Spa Special Ginger Tea. Cheers. And now we're with Samar, the co-founder behind Diva Lounge Spa. Hello, Tia. So Samar, can you please tell us more about the concept and mission that are behind this beautiful spa? So Tia, we started Diva Lounge Spa in 2006, my partner and myself, because we had a vision and a mission that we wanted to provide the ladies of Qatar with uh, relaxing treatments in a very hygiene and soothing environment and offer them a exceptional five-star service at affordable prices. Now, uh, the concept of Diva Lounge Spa revolves around the four elements of nature, the earth, wind, fire and water. And how we bring this into the spa is that if you have a look at our rooms, you will see that each room reflects an element. And then this also, the four elements are reflected into our treatments. We have the four elements massage because it's believed that when uh, your four elements are in balance, then this is the optimum state where a human body is completely relaxed. We've evolved since 2006 and we have now four branches in different areas of Qatar. And we're proud to have won numerous awards from the All Allah Spa magazine and uh, from uh, the Green Council in Qatar. We won a sustainability award, which we are very proud of because over time we have taken little baby steps to become a more sustainable spa. Now you might ask me, how does a spa become sustainable? Exactly. And I tell you, uh, we have, uh, first of all, we've completely eliminated the manicure, pedicure with water. We've replaced them with what we call a waterless technique of manicure and pedicure, where we use gloves or okay. socks for our clients. So instead of basically soaking the hands and feet with water, they wear these gloves or socks. They're full of nourishing cream for the hands. This is much more hygienic and much more actually beneficial for uh, you know the skin it's much more nourishing for the skin number two instead of covering our ladies with thick towels which actually consume a lot of water and energy when we wash them we've replaced them with very thin sheets and these thin sheets we are able to wash a greater quantity per one wash load so we are saving on energy we're saving on soap and we're saving on electricity wow. So these are some of the uh, steps we've taken. We also encourage our customers not to drink bottled water. We offer them detox water when they come into the spa because also it has proven that bottled water is actually not healthy for a human being. Why? Because the water is stored for a long time. It becomes stale. It doesn't run. And over time, you don't know, we don't know in what conditions the water is being stored at the grocery shop or whatever. So it's all always more healthy to actually drink running water. That's why if you look at people in villages, you see them, they're very healthy because they actually drink from rivers, you know? So that is how we have tried to become more sustainable. Oh, that's impressive. But how can you educate your clients or the people that are watching us about the long-term benefits of wellness treatments? Okay, so Tia, in today's world, as you know, social media plays a big role in educating or raising awareness about anything that we want. So we try to use our platform on social media, our different platforms, whether Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, into raising uh, awareness about the importance of the treatments that we do, be it massage, be it facials, be it the hammam. We always try to highlight the benefits. For example, massage. Yeah. Massage, the benefits are numerous, but let me sum them up to you quickly. For example, massage boosts blood circulation. 
it helps uh, rid your body of the toxins. Uh, it relaxes you because when you were working on the muscles, so it releases tension in your back. We also try to educate our clients. We have a platform called the Diva Chat. And through the Diva Chat, which we host maybe quarterly, we try to invite in speakers in different topics oh, wow. so that, you know, we, we, we try to educate our clients on, on certain issues that are, let's say, uh, becoming popular. We bring regularly speakers to speak about these topics and issues. Other than this, you know, we're always available. Our consultations, when the client first comes, we always do a consultation to understand what her needs are. Because as you know, if you're suffering from a certain certain pain it's different than if you are coming and just having a relaxing treatment yeah so if you come to me and tell me if you come to our girls actually and tell them for example I have chronic pain in my back and you know the, the back is where we usually feel our stress yeah. then maybe you're suffering from something that not a normal massage will not work for you so we have what we call a remedial massage a remedial massage works specifically on a specific part of the body to help you uh, you know overcome that pain it's different the strokes are different and the movements are different from a relaxing massage so what advice can you give our audience to help them promote the overall well-being okay tia so let's uh, we're all in agreement that we live in a stressful world and everybody is running around especially women they are juggling so many things at the same time be it family be it work and a woman rarely has time to spend on herself so I greatly advise uh, specifically our women audience that they must have some me time to themselves. Definitely. And that me time means, uh, you know, having, uh, I always recommend spa treatments are no longer for pampering as people think. They're becoming a necessity. It's very necessary for a woman to have regular spa treatments such as massage or hammam or a facial. They should not look at it as this is like a pampering, uh, you know, just uh, luxury. It's actually necessity to maintain their well-being and their mental health. Yani the massage plays a big role in boosting the mood. So does the hammam because the hammam when you go inside with that steam and you know you have your full body exfoliated you're just preparing the body to absorb the energy that you face in everyday life so my advice to every woman is really like you spending money and time in shopping yeah. you should be spending money and time on yourself relaxing and ensuring that you're keeping your well-being intact and your mental health intact well thank you so much Tamar that was very helpful I'm definitely going for a massage right now. Thank you, Tia. And that wraps up our journey behind the gates here at Diva Lounge Spa. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more exclusive looks behind the gates.